Hi, I'm Martha Peterson. Thanks so much for joining me. A very common question that I get from people who are learning essential somatics movements is where is my head supposed to go? It always feels like it's going in the wrong direction. I don't understand. So let's talk about that. As humans, there are two ways generally that our head moves. One is full flexion in which our head follows our spine and goes in the opposite direction to our pelvis. And it looks like this. Feel free to join me and do this at home. You're looking up at the sky, your head, your eyes look up, your back arches, your shoulders drop back, and your pelvis moves back. Back arches, front releases, and then the other head pattern, excuse me, the, the other direction is full flexion. When your eyes look down, your head moves down, you round your spine, the pelvis tucks under, you're looking down to the ground. We want to be able to look up and look down. Full flexion, full extension. Now, when we stand up and move towards uh, forward towards life as human beings, we're always looking towards the horizon, but we still respond to stress. And the way that we do that, the red light, the green light, extension and flexion, is this, the head, this is head pattern number two. This is the one that a lot of people get a little bit confused about. You're walking towards life, but you're in a rush. Your back arches and your chin comes down like a soldier at attention. My chin comes down because my back is arched and my shoulders come back. Or, you're walking down the street, it's been a long day, and you begin to slump into the red light reflex, but you're still looking towards the horizon. Your front collapses, your shoulders slump, and look where your face is. Your chin goes forward and your neck arches. When we're sitting at a computer like this, looking towards our screen, this is a very common posture commonly known as face forward posture. But what it really is, is the head pattern that is um, involved in the red light reflex. So when you lie on the floor to do your movements, arch and flatten, or the flower opening up from the center, closing inward, your head and your pelvis are moving in the same direction, like two wheels of a bicycle. So I encourage you to bring your awareness to the center and allow your head and your neck to move along for the ride, almost like the, the tail of a snake. Um, and, and notice how when you allow the movement of the center to inform what the head and the neck are doing, You'll find that arching, your chin comes down, your pelvis rolls forward, your front opens up, your back contracts. And then as you sink, right, your back goes down into the floor, your shoulders pop forward slightly, and your neck arches, your pelvis tucks under, that your head now begins to coordinate more easily to the center of the body. This is pretty uh, simple to start with by doing it while standing or sitting in a chair. But then when you get down on the floor, take your time. I encourage you not to force or uh, fight with the movement. Just know that when you're doing the arch and flatten, when you're doing the flower, allowing your head and your pelvis to move together because of what's happening in the center of your body will make the entire movement more comfortable, easier, and ultimately it will allow you to teach yourself how to 
find the most comfortable spot for your head on top of your spine, tall and comfortable. I hope this video has been helpful. Please let me know and thanks for joining me.